All kinds of DeFi applications need oracles for various reasons. Lots of applications like borrowing and lending or you know, futures or swaps where you need an oracle price in order to value your collateral or decide what price you want to transact at. It's very common in DeFi to need an oracle. I've spoken to many DeFi developers and teams about their problems with current oracles, and a lot of their issues basically boil down to three different problems. First of all, the feeds that they're using don't update fast enough. Existing oracles might update every 10 minutes, every five minutes, and that kind of update frequency simply isn't enough for many applications that need really low latency data. Imagine you're trying to transact at a price. It's really not good to trade at the price from five minutes ago. It's just way too slow. The second complaint basically comes down to asset selection. You need the assets that you need for your application, and if those assets aren't listed on the chain of your choice, then you're just out of luck, right? That oracle simply isn't going to work for you. The third dimension is sort of transparent and trustworthy data sourcing. So a lot of oracles are fairly opaque with where their data comes from, and that makes it hard for users to actually, you know, trust that that data is going to be okay. And there's a lot of value that depends on these prices being accurate, and it's just hard to believe in the accuracy of the prices unless you understand where the data is coming from and whose reputation is on the line. So Pit Network is designed to kind of solve all three of these problems for users. Pit's price feeds update once a second across all blockchains. So this ensures that your DeFi applications always have recent data and also ensures that the prices that you have don't deviate too far from the prices on trading venues and things like that. So this means that you can offer, say, small spreads on your trading application or you know, ensure that liquidations happen in a timely fashion. And the second is that Pith offers all of these price feeds for over 200 assets. So that you know, spans the range from you know, crypto assets, metals, US equities, you name it, Pith offers those price feeds. And all of those feeds are available on every single chain that Pith serves with that same one second update frequency. Other oracles work a little differently, and because of how they work, they can't offer all the feeds on all the different blockchains. So maybe they have 200 feeds on Ethereum, but they only have eight feeds on Avalanche, right? So this makes it hard for developers on Avalanche to actually develop a competitive app because they simply don't have the data that they need. Pit's unique architecture is kind of what enables it to deliver all of these feeds to all of these different chains. And finally, Pit Network is designed to deliver the highest quality and most trustworthy data to DeFi applications. The way we do that is by going directly to the source of financial market data, the exchanges and trading firms who interact with those prices as part of their daily business, and we have them contribute that information directly to the network. One of the unique things about Pith's architecture is that once Pith spins up a price feed, that feed is immediately available on any of the chains that Pith supports. This makes it a really interesting place for, say, a team who wants to list their token and get a price for it, because that feed is now instantly available on other chains, which means, say, you can bridge your token from one chain to that chain, and you can still do DeFi over there. If you're interested in building with Pith data, please see the developer section of our website or Gitbook. We've designed the entire process to be as seamless and simple as possible.